for Nandrima, the day you accepted the invitation, very happy. We were very happy. Thank you so much. Dear friends, I'd like to introduce our guest in an official way. Dear ma'am, just in an official way, I will take a few minutes and share your profile, ma'am. Yes. Yes. Dear friends, we'll get to know more about ma'am from her itself, but I'd like to just let you know as to who she is and what is her educational background and how much she has contributed to the society. It's always a give back, you know, what you take something, but you have to give double than what you get. And here we have our special celebrity. She's completed her MA in English, MPhil in English as well, MH. She's a postgraduate and she has completed this post-graduation diploma in teaching of English. She's completed, completed it from Saiful, that is from Hyderabad, Telangana, India. Dear friends, as I earlier said, she has 28 plus years of teaching experience. And ask me where? It's not just at the primary level. It is from the primary level right up to the university level. She's been transforming her journey, starting from the primary level and reaching up to the university level. She's been giving her very best, mentoring several students. Either you share them or if you have any doubts, she's ready there to clear it. But let's get to know really as to who she is. She is a mystery to me. So I would like to unravel the mystery on this beautiful platform because English is also my favorite subject. And while talking, I myself make several mistakes. And English is that language where, you know, the more you master it, the more and more it's a, a big ocean. Join us, my dear friends, to get to know about our celebrity. Yes, dear. Dear ma'am, hello, ma'am, and welcome to the session. Wanna come, ma? Thank you very much. Dear ma'am, what would you like to share about yourself? How would you uh, like to define yourself? Who is the real Shanti? Real Shanti, very practical, down to earth, at times angry bird. Angry bird, how sweet. That's yes. all. Practical, down very to earth. Very practical, down to earth. And That's angry bird. Thing. I love this the way you said angry bird. I really <laughs> like that. It is humorous at the same time to be angry for the right reasons. Yeah, of course. Yes, dear, I get that. Dear ma'am, many of the students who you've been teaching all through these years, 28 plus years is really a vast experience. You might have met different students who might have looked up to you as a source of inspiration that yes, Miss Shanti is our teacher. We love her for who she is. We love the way she teaches and inspires us. So you might have become a great inspiration to many of the students you, who you've been teaching. We would like to know who inspired you to enter into this beautiful field of teaching and serving the nation. My parents, especially my father, because both my parents were head teachers, headmaster and headmistress. And of course, my father forced me to uh, forced me to enter into this academic uh, field. Uh, I, uh, actually, I attended a provisional officer exam and I passed that, but my father didn't allow me. He said, only you had to attend, you had to go for BA and you had to become a teacher. You, you know, I fasted for three days, but not, no fruitful result. So I had to give back everything and I had to go and do my BA. And after MA BA, I became a teacher, postgraduate teacher. And after that, uh, I worked for two years and I resigned my job. I did my MPhil in the regular course. And again, I worked in the university itself. Again, I did MED. Likewise, my journey started from that. So that is why I told you I have teaching experience from primary to university level. I worked in the university also for one year. And 11 years as a key resource person for handling BA classes, practical class as well as theory classes. And the class will be full of uh, nearly 100 students in the class. Great, ma'am. Great. It was really a very good experience for me. And when I received the Dr. Radhakrishna Award, only then I realized my father, why he forced me to enter in this field. And as a teacher, I had the job satisfaction of moving with so many uh, teacher candidates because we give training for the teacher trainees, no? So I have full job satisfaction. I'm very yes. happy about it. And I had to thank my father. He's in heaven now, thank God. <laughs> yes, dear. Dear ma'am, I love this. You shared like this, that I fasted for three days. Did I hear that right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. It <didn't> worked out. <laughs> yes, it didn't work out. But anyways, you said, but you're happy now as you won the Radha Krishna Award. Extremely happy. 
your dad also may be very happy right above in heaven now and yeah, yeah, I, when i received the award he was so happy okay very nice dear dear ma'am would you like to share with us any childhood incident that you sure. remember it is very sharp in your my memory like yes at the moment you remember it quickly and you would love to share it with us yeah uh, when i was a child uh, we used to go to the village my father's village uh, where i actually i worked this kalupati nearly 40 kilometers from madurai and we used to go and enjoy the nature there we used to take bath in the motor room a pump set so we enjoyed it thoroughly and uh, one of my brothers uh, cousins no he whenever there is a power cut or whenever we meet together he would uh, make us sing songs and he will conduct uh, competitions among us and he'll be giving uh, the cashew nut peanut and that will be uh, what you can say a very great reward for us in those days nearly 15 uh, girls were there four families 15 girls 10 boys. So we had a very gala time there. Wow. In every family, there were 12 children. And only in our family, there were three. But at that time, my uh, sister was not born. And I used to go with my brothers and sisters there. Yes, dear. Thank you for sharing it. You said gala time. I love the way you said that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Even now, I can recollect those past memories. The greenery, how we enjoyed it. Have a very good time there. Yes, dear. Dear ma'am, any risk you took at the younger age, like when you were in the, you know, in the in the space of nature, where you spent some time with nature and the, yeah. with the water and all of your cousins together, did you face anything that was risky or dangerous? Nothing. Nothing. Like maybe you would have seen all some wild animals. Memories. No, all pleasant memories. Okay. That's really nice. You know, to have all of you together enjoying yourselves, that's really yeah. wonderful. Beautiful, ma'am. Thank you. What about your school when you were a student? Now, you are a teacher. You're, you're a faculty member. Mm -hmm. When you were a student, do you remember any incident that happened in, in your class or in your school where you were connected directly in that situation? Mm -hmm. I uh, I did my schooling in St. Joseph uh, High School. At that time, it was high school, not high secondary. So, you know, I enjoy imitating others. So, my friends used to motivate me all the time. Whenever there is a free time, they'll say, hey, do like that, max teacher, do like that, geography teacher. So, uh, because they tell me, no, so I used to do that. And w once it so happened that in the afternoon, during the lunch uh, break, uh, we didn't know that there was, a, because of the current failure, we couldn't hear the bell. So, we, I, I started imitating almost all the teachers. They were encouraging me. And so I started doing everybody's role there, starting from math teacher, science teacher, geography teacher, even the HM there. No, two of my teachers stood because it's a stage like thing. Our class was stage like thing. We couldn't see that the teacher was standing below. And I was doing it entirely thoroughly, enjoyed it. And after some time, one girl did like this teacher, teacher. Then I stopped. And you know what happened? The two teachers took me like this to the HM <laughs> and then I had to thank my sister that HM was a sister it was a Christian school and you know what happened she said oh my my name is Ananda Sarupa Shanti they used to call me Anandi Anandi come here come here she said and my friends told me you're going to get TC and you're going you're going to be chucked out of the school so I was just saying what to do anyway we Go there. Come. Do as I did. Repeat, she said. Sorry, sister. No, Anandi. Do what I did now. Immediately, you have to imitate me. Then I did the same thing. Then she started clapping. Other teachers were looking, <laughs> wondering at me. What is it? We thought that she would be getting punishment and the HM is appreciating her. That was really a very good incident. Then after that, she told me, it's very good that you imitate others. But I'm very happy that you didn't give, give any negative uh, comments about the teacher. You took only the positive side. And so I'm very happy about it, Anandi. She told me that. And that was really, uh, what you can say, a very memorable incident in my school days. 
after that, almost all the other teachers, whenever there is a free time, no, they will call me. Hey, do you like that teacher? Imitate that teacher. <laughs> and that was really a funny incident. Yes, dear. Thank you for sharing all of that. Thank you. I could visualize everything when you were sharing it, like how you were doing it and how you were standing in front of your HM, your sister, the principal was the sister over there. I could visualize all of that. That's really nice. Thank you, ma'am, for sharing. Now you as a teacher, as a faculty member, as a resource person, what are the challenges that you face in your journey, uh, new this journey as a teacher? First of all, as a diet faculty, we had to give trainings for the teachers, already working teachers. So at that time, I really I faced uh, many challenges. Because generally, as I don't want to say it openly, but anyway, it is a fact. Gents don't accept ladies speaking English and uh, giving them training. So one or two gents teachers were at the back and they were, uh, what you can say, they didn't pay attention at all. They wanted to create some problem in the during the training period. I didn't do anything at that time. I was just continuing the training. During the tea break, I just went to them. I said, you, you as a teacher, you had to teach English. And we are telling you the easiest way of teaching English to the rural children. And rural children are our children. And so English is mandatory that everyone should know that. And if you are going to behave like this, you need not attend my class. If you want attendance, I'll give it. But don't attend the class and disturb other people. I was so stubborn and arrogant in that. The way I told them. They said, why? You, you are younger to us. And you know, I'm the president and the secretary of that association other things. I said, I don't mind it. You can go and report to anybody. But if you are in the training program, you have to behave well. Then it so happened that they became so friends with me. And after that, even now the friendship continues. <laughs> that one day really, that was a tough time. And the other incident is when I uh, went uh, to a uh, very remote village, remote corner of uh, uh, Uduma, what you can say, Pudukote, uh, a remote cor corner of that village. Uh, when I first entered that, I got the government job and I entered that, I saw the posters that Hearty thanks to teachers in Tamil. Hearty thanks to teacher who uh, made us secure 30% in our final exams. I was really stunned and shocked. What is that? The percentage is only 1, 3, 13. And the uh, whole uh, people here are uh, giving the posters like this. Then the HM told me it is really very difficult. No one stays here in for high school and high secondary. But I you from Madurai, and because he was also from Madurai, uh, he said, let us take it as a challenge teacher. You have to help me so that by the time we leave this, because no more teacher remains here more than five months or six months. But I take the challenger and I want you to join with me. Then he gave me full freedom. I took class, I just collected and uh, within a week, I was able to understand the uh, drawbacks of the children. So I just uh, categorized them. I never say uh, dull students, but I wanted them also to come, come to the expected level. So I categorized them and I took class for boys from 6 to 7, 7 to 7.30. 7.30 practical exam will be given to me. Similarly, in the afternoon, I'm sorry, in the evening, uh, 6 to 7 and 7 to 7.30. And I had to thank here Mrs. Saraswati. Uh, she's a... Um, what you can say, uh, an educated lady, but she wanted to help uh, wanted to help me. I was very pure vegetarian there. I couldn't see any shop there without um, egg. So I found it very difficult. She said, you have come to help our children, our village children. So I am ready to offer you a room. And she gave me a room. She cooked for me. And every now and then, she would get me coffee. And really, I had never seen a person like that. She would not accept money also from me. And because of all those blessings, the percentage went from 13 to 65. And PTA, Parent Teacher Association, they, give a, they gave a golden ring. Golden ring for the HM. And every week when I come back, because at uh, that time I, uh, I had my second son. He was only two years old. 
and uh, they will give so many gifts for me. All, um, what you can say, banana, whatever they have, they will say, what is it? Why should I carry all this? No, ma, you have taken so much pain for our children. So we have to give some offerings to our goddess. They used to call me goddess Saraswati. I said, oh God, God has given me a chance to work for you. And really on the last day, I just go for ninth standard to take only moral instruction class in those days. And you won't believe when I got transferred, I got nearly 25 casseroles, 13 uh, time piece, so many gifts from so many classes. And ninth standard, that one hour I go for them, no? They didn't know that I'm going to get transferred. Immediately they collected 5 NP, 10 NP, and they collected a very big uh, stainless steel plate. They had written there. And even now I have that as a memory. They, they might have forgotten me, but I can never forget those children. Really, it was a golden period in my teaching career. At that time, I realized my father's uh, challenge there, why he forced me to enter there. And those children are now working in Singapore, Malaysia. Now and then, they call me and uh, they speak with me. Really, I had to thank God. Yes, dear. That's really beautiful, ma'am. You shared all of that. That's really so interesting to know about. Wonderful. That really is very fulfilling and satisfying to be a teacher, to be loved, to be respected above all. Yes, dear. And when you leave the institution, either transfer or anything, and then you feel uh, the love, the genuine yeah, love coming. Praying. Very true. Dear ma'am, would you like to mention some of the names of your students? Would you like to share their names? Um, that, uh, I, uh, sorry, I forgot those names. So but I remember the teacher trainings. Because in teacher uh, during the teacher training period, no, I remember because even now the students follow me. Now they have become teachers, and there are so many WhatsApp groups. And whenever I have a function, even for uh, that uh, retirement function, my son's marriage, my 60th uh, wedding anniversary, everything they used to come there. How nice! So I have students as a gang, a very good uh, group of people coming and attending almost all my functions. Very nice, dear. All the students out there who were taught by our celebrity today, that is Miss uh, Mrs. Shanti, uh, she sends a lot of love to all of you and she remembers you with lots of love and affection. That's really nice no? to feel great when you connected with students and students are giving back to you their time and their love and respect, even after you, they have finished schooling. The contact is over, but the connection is still there. Yeah, still. Right? That's, yes. That period where you were you were studying is over, but yet they have that connection. They have that respect. That's really wonderful. Even now, sometimes they call me, um, call me and they can clarify that uh, doubts. Doubts. Yes, dear. Dear ma'am, Yes. In this beautiful journey, uh, I would like to ask you, where did you feel like, yeah, is it prose, poetry or grammar as you are an English teacher? Which part did you feel challenging? Grammar. Grammar. I have to accept. Uh, yeah. Yes. Usually the trend is to give the definition first and to write it on the board and then explain it and never go for that. For example, teaching of uh, nouns. I asked the children, to come out with all names they, they know. Mainly, the, I write the names of the children on the board. Because we have to do a demo class for them. Here, can I uh, share another experience with you? Yes, please. Uh, I was working in Watan Chatram, Dindakal district. At that time, uh, we used to take our uh, teacher trainees to schools where we had to observe the practical classes. At that time, it so happened that uh, there was one, again, a remote uh, village where the children were in uh, Telugu speaking children. And I told the HM, uh, already I had given clear cut instructions to my children, to my student teacher trainees, that they have to use only English within that 45 minute slot. If at all you use mother tongue, I will uh, uh, de decrease your marks. That's what I had given clear instructions to them. And HM was laughing at me, Madam, these children, they know only Telugu and you are going to make uh, students use only English. I challenge you, 
this class will not be a successful one. When I told the HM, if my students teach within that 45 minutes the selected topic, and if your children are able to give correct answers, what will you give for them? He said, I am ready to give biryani packets to them. 40 students were there. And you know, I went to the chill list. My students, I said, it's a challenge for me, Doc. You had to take it. You had to prove that you are the students of Shanti. And it so happened that after the class was over, the HM came and he asked so many questions to the second standard and third standard children. Everyone answered in English. So he got 40 packets, biryani packets from them. And the students said, teacher, come for every practical exam and challenge with the HM so that we give biryani packets. We can get biryani packets. That really I had to thank those uh, teacher trainees also. Yes, dear. Thank you, ma'am, for sharing all of that. Thank you for sharing all of those incidents. Yes, dear. And that's why you are here with us today to share it all with us. Students really make the lives of teachers really beautiful and vice versa as well. Yes. Now, ma'am, we'll go to some books. Your favorite book. Till date, which book inspired you a lot, which you would like to share it with us today? The author, the title? Um, I read uh, almost all, I had read almost uh, Abdul Kalam's books, all, almost all the books. And an ardent admirer of Irayan books. Yes, dear. The only person who I wanted to get autographed and take a snap with him is Abdul Kalam. But I didn't get a chance. My husband, as an advocate, he got a chance. And I got a photo of my husband with Abdul Kalam. When Abdul Kalam visited the um, session court there, high court there in Madre, when he came there as a, as a visitor. Yes, you're lucky. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Even now, I, maybe directly, yeah. maybe indirectly, you are. Yeah. I can saw that photo even now. I'm very happy about it. Yes, dear. that's really nice. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam was one of the most, uh, you know, resourceful person that the universe has ever had. Yes. May his soul rest in peace. He is my role model even now. Great, great dear. That's really nice, dear ma'am. How would you want to be remembered in this world? Now, just now we remembered APJ Abdul Kalam, sir. How would you want to be remembered in this world and why should people remember you? We may not expect people to remember us, but once the thought, Shanti, okay, she is a very good soul who is ready to help people in need, in times of need. That's all. Yes, dear. As a teacher, you have been on different trips, I guess, tours and trips with your students. Which yes. was the most fair, uh, interesting place that you've been to, along with the students on a trip? We have visited many places. We went uh, for, uh, I think, a week's uh, tour. Uh, we visited um, Trivandrum. We went to Kodakanal, almost to near Kanyakumari, nearly 10 places. So I enjoyed that tour. For every tour, my principal will make me go with the students. So I also enjoy. Yes. Dear. And here I want to uh, thank Mrs. Uh, Fatima Telagarani, who was the principal. And she gave me full freedom. As I said earlier in that uh, village, Mr. Raman gave me free freedom. Here, uh, Mrs. Fatima Telagarani, principal, she gave me full freedom because I was the only diet faculty for English for 400 students. So every Friday, we used to telecast um, films, English films for them. And here I want to say, uh, once I played uh, Sound of Music, and one girl who never opens them. What I do is I just play. And after that, I ask them to review about the film. Because that, only then I can make them speak English. Because they are interested in music and uh, film. And I saw that that very shy girl, she started singing that song. When I was 13, there is one song in that, no? She started singing that song. And another girl sang the door dear. So I was so happy. And she gave me full freedom. So yes. here I have to thank all those people who gave me full freedom to work without friction. So I had my own gala time with the students. 
within the class, I will never allow them to do even to turn their head. Even if the principal passes the corridor, the student should not look there. I will get angry. But once the bell is over, I will be very friendly with them. Many of the students, when they come for the class, they have come to my house for lunch. They enjoy that. I'm very happy about it. And my husband cooperated with me. And so I'm very happy about it. Extremely enjoyed. Yes. Those memorable days. Yes, dear. that's really very nice. And I love the way you said, no corridor, don't turn your head, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I get that, ma'am. Because anybody passing there, automatically there are certain students yeah. who will turn their head, who is going, who is coming. Why oh, yeah, I become so yeah, wide? Distraction. I tried my level best to control, but uh, I couldn't do it. It was really an utter failure for me. Yes. Thank you for sharing all of that, ma'am. Sometimes, you know, we even close the door. Because they shouldn't look out. We just close the door such that they don't look no, I, don't do I don't do that. But I make them sit very properly as students inside the class. They never <laughs> do anything which was that. Yes, dear. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am, for sharing all of that. Ma'am, what is that one thing that you love about yourself? This is Shanti, and I love myself because this is my inner core quality. I go by this every single day. Um, it's both my strength as well as weakness. If somebody asks for help, immediately I, I say yes. But at times I feel that we have to say no to certain things. I'm 67 years old now. Now I realize very late. I help them. Sometimes it becomes a, what you can say, turns vice versa to me. But anyway, I never give up helping others. Somebody comes and asks for help, I try my level best, even going beyond that limit to help them. And so I used to get scoldings from my husband and my family for that. Why do you do like this? Is it necessary? And here my best friend, Kalayarasi, I had to tell you about her also. She would always tell, Oi, ma, why are you taking so much pains? They never recognize you. Once they get that uh, help done, they just forget you. I said, there is no need for them to remember me. They came for the help. I did. Because it was within my limit, I am able to do that. Otherwise, I don't expect them to remember me and have a statue for me for that help, to be erected by them. She uh, used to scold me. Ma'am, you don't do that. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. Would you like to share something else? No, that's all. <laughs> yes, dear. Yes, dear friends, it's not always a yes. You should also learn to say no. No. Yes. It will avoid many problems in our life and then we can, otherwise we take all the burden on ourselves and some yes. people don't deserve a yes. Yes, dear. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much for sharing all of that. What about movies? Did you ever get time away from all the work that you've been doing? Number of movies, but your favorite movie, ma? Sarvam Talamayam. Sarvam Talamayam. Uh, it's a mu where the music, because I hear, I remember a uh, quote, uh, Shakespeare's quote, music be the put of love, play it on. I love music. Whenever I feel stressed also, I listen to music, I sing songs, and also I love that movie because that in that particular movie, the message is, Music cannot be confined to any caste, creed, or color. Music is for everyone. So I love that message. Yes, dear. Ma'am, if I heard this right, you love to sing? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, uh, what you can say, an ardent admirer of Usha Udi. Yes, dear. And yes, and Karadi rhymes for Chief. So I love that. Wow. Yes, dear. We have a request. Would you oblige to sing a song for us today on this platform? Yeah, sure. Your favorite song. Sure. Um, yes, dear. You can say song. Sa sing the sunflowers. Me. I'm sorry, I'll just add the words now. Yes, dear. Long back. Sa yes, sing the sunflowers. Rearing of the red roses. Ga gugal the gul mohas. Ma mama the marigold. Pop. Pop the pretty puppies, 
dog dance the daily yes ni not the ni flowers sari ga ma pa da ni sa sari ga ma pa da ni sa sari ga ma pa da ni sa it's from karadi rhymes sung by kushal and she has sung a song about cricket also that's the cricket match in town today i like to play it i'm on my way cricket is my favorite game i like to bat ball and field i am the captain of the team i am the captain of the team actually i don't like cricket but i love this song because i wanted to teach my children so that's it and uh, you want a tamil song yes please yes please nadanam aadi na vegu nagariga magave kanagata vaila ananda nadanam aadi na ashta disayum kedugudunga seidan thalai nadunadunga anda madira gangai pisidara konnadaru kondade ഇഷ്ടമുടനെ ഗോപാല കൃഷ്ണൻ പാട ജടയാട് അറവം പടമാട് അതിലെ നടമാട് തോം തോം നിന്ന് പദവി തന്തോം നിന്ന് താം തകിതകലം വാ brilliant brilliant and hats off to you thank you so much thank you yes thank you so much you have a wonderful voice in english as well as in tamil rombo nandri ma thank you very very much ma'am thank you so much. my father is a very good singer okay oh, that's nice great ma'am thank you so much you've done justice to this beautiful song in tamil and as well as in english you sang for us thank you so much it means a lot thank you thank you thank you for giving me an opportunity to sing like this <laughs> yes and you sang it so well like i was really enjoying it yes dear from the start till the end yes dear dear ma'am we'll come down to the society now to the world according to you which area in the world requires a beautiful change and yes you want to focus your energy to see a change in this particular area almost all the areas because once you feel that and uh, if any person is self contented self satisfied there will not be any problem in the whole world so every place needs a change every person once you have that idea engrossed in your mind then no problem will be there no confinements no boundaries so everything is for everyone let us share only at times of need because of the flood we are sharing it that is not necessary and following the rules so must especially that attitude of indians i don't want to degrade indians but whenever indians go to other countries they follow the rules but when they come to our country we take it for granted so i want all of us to follow the rules whether it's a traffic rules or anything we have to follow them so we have to adhere to the rules there is no need to boost other countries and say indians are like that why should we degrade ourselves let us follow the rules let us we obey all the rules first what we do for the country that is more important and here again can i share one more experience yes please ma'am go um, i was a curriculum coordinator after um, uh, retirement i uh, tv school um, i worked as a curriculum coordinator in tv school at that time i used to visit the classes teachers will be taking class i had to visit now and then i had to give my feedback to the teacher as well as the students and i was talking with the uh, children uh, class 1 and i asked them uh, to raise their hands how many of your uh, parents have two wheeler and three wheeler, four wheeler and i asked them what is the need for wearing the belt when you drive and what is the need for helmet and they gave me the answers i said there is no need for giving the answers 
you had to follow it. You had to make your parents do that. And it really had a wonderful change among the children. Because after that, I met the parents. They said, Amma, my daughter is forcing me to wear the helmet. Whenever we get into the car, she's asking us to wear the belt. That was really, uh, what I can say, I had to thank God for that. We motivated the children. And they, those children, class one and two, they forced their parents to do that. And I had a little satisfaction. Okay, good, Shanti, you've done something wonderful. <laughs> now and then I pat myself. Though I'm an angry bird, I pat myself and en encourage myself to that. Yes, dear. Thank you so much, ma'am, for sharing. I love the way you shared that beautiful experience where the child asked the parents, yeah. you know, to wear the helmet or, you know, put the seat belt when you're in, driving a car. That's really nice. And giving that tap and say, yes, I'm doing it. <laughs> Rambun Allama, very nice. Dear ma'am, from your experience as being in, in the teaching field, being with students, this these two terms, smart work and hard work, according to you, your thoughts and opinions on these two terms, how to differentiate? What is the Vitya Samyanama between these two? Both are needed. Smart work, when you want the students to do it, I don't teach them, but I motivate them in such a way that they learn from their own experience. Hard work, sometimes we have to do it. Because as teacher trainees, they have to do all that chart work. Now, the technology is there. But in those days, we had to use a pen for writing. This uh, all demo classes. So, uh, that black pen, you remember. The, now, we have that, uh, what you can say, sisal marker. In those days, sisal marker was not there. So, we had to dip that bamboo stick in black ink and then write it. So, I asked the students to use the sisal marker in a proper way to write it so that we are attracted only by the teacher's handwriting on the board. So I insist on that. So that is one hard work. I had to make the children do repeatedly do that. Smart work, learning grammar through experience, not by definitions. I'm very stubborn about that. I tell them, don't give definitions. Give them as many examples possible. Make them give the examples. Then you arrive at a conclusion. And I took class for nearly 40 days class for 100 visually challenged students. They had to appear for 10 days. And even now those uh, students also come to my house for functions and other things. I have a contact with them. And I used to teach grammar, touching each uh, student. I asked them to have their hands like this at a subject predicate, how this uh, active voice will be turned into passive voice. So I touched them and teach them. So they really, even now they tell me, he got interest in grammar only after your class. So every class, I, the first entry class, I say, what is your entry behavior? What is your exit behavior? Unless you are satisfied, I will not continue the class. I ask them to write it. Yes. Only after that, I proceed the class. Yes, dear. Thank you so much, ma'am. I really love the way you said, you know, you you taught the students visually, uh, those who are visually handicapped. Like you made them touch, with the help of touch, you made them understand uh, grammar, you made them understand the, uh, what you wanted to teach them. So I was thinking you only dealt with the students who were, uh, you know, normal. But here the students even who, were, who didn't have sight, You've been giving your expertise to them. So I think you're an angel in the teaching oh, that's field. That's too big a yes. word, my dear. <laughs> no, you are an angel in the teaching field. Those people, those teachers who take care not only of the normal regular students, but also those students either with any disability or any special needs, they are really angels. Not and everybody uh, could do that. We were asked to do that uh, training for them. 40 days training. Especially for them. Yes, dear. Very nice. Thank you for sharing all of your experiences, dear. It's really great. Dear ma'am, any of your friends from childhood till date are connected with you? Do you have best friends or close friends, you could call them, or one best friend? Uh, one best friend. Uh, I have got two. One is Kalerasi, I told you. Another one is Daumani Raj. He's a very good friend. Even now, our friendship continues. Yes, dear. That's really true. Very nice. Uh, and we have we wanted to eradicate the barrier that there cannot be a very good friendship between a man and a woman. 
that was really a true, clean, beautiful friendship between us. Yes, dear. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for sharing. My dear friends, this is how we have to continue communicating in the right way and bringing beauty, harmony, peace, and above all, respect in this world. Yes, dear. Good to see you bonding across not only with students, not only with parents, with colleagues, and today you're bonding with us on the International Fab Talks. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for that. Thanks. Dear ma'am, what makes you smile or what made you smile when you were connecting with your students in class? What type of antics that the students did in class made you smile? Or you were an angry bird then? Or did you smile silently within yourself when they create any mischievous thing that they did in class? Or I just would like to ask you, did they ever do any mischief in your class or not? As a, uh, I couldn't get you. I did what? Uh, yeah, I mixed up all the questions actually. Let me just put uh, it properly. I'll just put this properly. When you were in class, did any of the students, you know, do some mischief, any naughty thing? And then that made you smile. It was just very an innocent thing. Did it make you smile or were you angry at them? Uh, I used to smile. Um, because um, what you say? I can get you that, uh, that one very good incident. Um, when the class extends, sometimes it so happens that the other teacher may not be present and I'll be asked to continue the class. Yes. So I will not tell them beforehand. And as I continue, then they'll say, I know it's time. I never allow the students to look at the watch also. I will get angry at them. So I said, okay, it's time. Uh, maybe you want to have some brunch now. Your snacks, it's a snack time for you. Whatever tiffin you have, just you pass it up. I give five minutes break. Then they were very happy. What is it? Shanti ma'am giving us time for all those things. And they were very happily enjoying that, uh, passing that event and having a gala time for 10 minutes. Then I said, back to work. Come back to work. Then they were shocked, ma'am. I said, okay. Other teacher is absent. I'm asked to take your class, the class now. Are you willing to sit or can I go out? He said, no, ma'am. You're given as time for eating now. So let us continue. You can eat take even after lunch break also. They just the class continue. So now and then I understand the psychology of the students. Yes, dear. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for sharing all of that. Thank you. Any weakness? My weakness. Um, I believe everybody. I believe everybody. Uh, and uh, I but you can say <laughs> they many of them have cheated me financially and other things also. But uh, after that bitter experience, I'll say no, Shanti, be strict. Don't uh, accept people as, as they are. But again, I fall a prey to that, and then I pray. Okay, they are like that. Let them be. That is my. And one weakness is, uh, till now, I feel that I was a very successful teacher, but I failed a lot as a mother. I was not able to be with my children for a long time. Because now and then we go for trainings. I will be asked to go for 10 days training to RAE Bangalore, RAE Mysore, even to Delhi, we'll be asked to go for a training. So now and then I had to leave my children. So I, I did not enjoy that motherhood. But my sons are so much attached to them. They understand my uh, way of uh, teaching my work. They know my career. They understood. And they still, they love that. They are very happy and proud to say that Shanti is my mother. But as a mother, I feel that I have not done full justice to my sons. But as a grandmother, I am doing full justice to my granddaughter now. <laughs> and she is giving stories now. Even at the age of one and a half years, she's able to narrate stories. I'm very happy. Extremely happy. Over and through. <laughs> Making her say songs, uh, sing songs and say stories. Yes, dear. I got to know that. Yes. I just wanted to ask you, you're enjoying now as a grandmom to your granddaughter. That's really very nice. So yeah. you could relive that once, one, once again. Yes. Yes, dear. Thank you, ma'am, for sharing all of that. Dear ma'am, is there anything that scares you? Any fears? 
ready to face every challenge. Yeah, accept life as it is. Because, you know, um, I'm very much attached to my husband. We were the romantic couple and I was the eldest daughter-in-law. I entered into the family, seven brothers-in-law for me. One sister-in-law. I was the eldest one. And we were so romantic. In those days itself, we used to wear the same color costume. So we, he was also very romantic. And we enjoyed thoroughly our life. Five years before uh, he went to God on Deepali day, I miss him a lot. <clears throat> and he was the sole inspiration for me. He was really, you can say, he used to tell me, though you are not a good wife and a good mother, you have excelled as a good teacher. Because whenever we go out, they had, students will come, they wish me. And so you say, you, I'm very proud of you, Shad. And he encouraged me a lot. That's the only thing I think I miss in my life. After retirement, every Sunday we go, we used to go to temple. Every week we will visit cinema hall. And we enjoyed it like in the most romantic couple is the name given to us by all our colleagues, our relatives. I miss him a lot. And he'll be so happy if at all he was here now. He'll be very proud. He'll say, my wife, my wife, he'll say. That's the only thing I think I, I lost in my life. Yes. But still I feel his presence somewhere he's with me. Whenever I want to make any decision, he's there to guide me. And, a very, I'm, and I had to thank God for that. There is one loss and one gain. My daughters-in-law, my I have got two sons, they got married. The daughters-in-law also very, very understand. I'm so proud as a ma mother-in-law. Yes. So one loss for me and one gain given by God. Yes. Thank, Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for sharing all of that. And uh, we are really happy that you shared all of that. And I'm sure. Uh, serve from above. We'll definitely be very happy today and sharing the space with us here. He'll be blessing us from above as you shared uh, all of that with us today. And I really love the way you said we would really wear the same colors, matching colors. You are yeah. a very romantic couple. You have beautiful memories of your yeah. time with your husband. That's really very nice. Yes, dear. So we wish you that uh, you are happy all the time with your family now, your sons, your daughter-in-laws. Uh, you know, that's really nice. Your daughter's in law and your grandchild as well. Yes. And of course, the beautiful memories that Sir has left behind. That's really nice. And you said, I really feel the energy around me. His presence is always, especially taking decisions. I feel his presence within me and I miss him. Yes, dear. That is a way to live life with beautiful memories left behind by the people who we love. Yes, dear ma'am. We go ahead with the next part, ma'am. Yeah, thank, thank you for sharing. Thank you for opening up and sharing. Dear ma'am, what about your favorite color? Blue. Blue. Because you said color, I, me and my husband wore the same colors. We are very romantic together. And we were well known in the circles that yes, they both are a great pair. So blue is your color. Dark blue, light blue. Which light blue, sky blue. Oh, great. That's really nice. And the reason behind that ma'am? No reason. Somehow I started liking that from my childhood. Even today I wanted to wear that early, but I thought maybe you will ask the uh, question. I don't know. <laughs> just say that I'm wearing the same color. So I just uh, switched on to this color. Yes, dear. As a student, when you were a student itself, your subject, your favorite subject? English and uh, social science. Okay, dear, that's nice. Ma'am, would you like to share a favorite quotation or a proverb with us? Uh, quotation, dream, dream, dream. Dream makes your, uh, dream becomes thoughts. Thoughts will be changed into action. Will result in action. 
uh, that's exact quotation by APJ Abdul Kalam. Yes. Dream, dream, dream. Dream will become thoughts. Thoughts will result in action. So once you have a very good dream, you will work hard, both smart work and hard work, and that becomes actions. And you can be very happy about that final output. Yes, dear. Dear ma'am, as a teacher, as a faculty member, as a resource person, as a trainer, as a mentor and guide, among all of this, when did you feel, wow, this is the greatest achievement of mine? Which moment felt you feel that wow experience that, yes, this is what I wanted to do and I've done it. I feel proud of this particular achievement. Other than English teacher, whenever the students come to me for counseling, they feel very confident of all the teaching faculty in the direct, both the principal as well as the students feel that they can come to me and share their problems and they can find out a solution. At that time, I feel, okay, that's good. That's a very proudest time. Because whenever there is a problem, especially that was a co-education class. And so there were so many problems. That time, our principal would say, call Shanti or send this uh, boy or girl to Shanti. Everything will be fine. And I I was very happy at that. Okay, those children have, there are so many stories, so many incidents, their personal problems, how I was able to tackle with that. So at that time, I feel, okay, we have done something to the society. And I get the good feedback from those children even now. They have become uh, um, they they have become old and they have got married and so many problems, but they have come out all those things. And I was a weapon, or what you can say, a tool to help them to come out from the problems. So I thank God for giving me an opportunity to do that kind of thing to children. Yes, dear. Not only a teacher, but also a great counselor. Yes, yeah. that's wonderful. Ma'am, what about pets? Do you love pets? Do you have one at home? We had, but now we don't have it. I love uh, dogs and cats. Even now, last week, we had a cat. And we gave birth to four, uh, four uh, kittens. And every day, I used to feed them with milk. They start uh, mewing at uh, 5.30 itself. Are they with you now? Number beat later. Number beat later. It was outside. We have got a very good uh, small garden outside. Okay. From somewhere the cat came here and uh, the, she gave birth to four kittens. And I used to feed them every day. It was nearly uh, 20 days or so. From yesterday, I do not know where they went. Only the mother cat is here. All the little ones have gone somewhere. Yes. It's nice watching them. I love pets. But I don't like uh, birds to be caged inside the house. I never like to have those kind of things inside the house. Yes, dear. Dear ma'am, how many languages are you conversant in apart from English and Tamil? Mm. What is it? Other languages? Yes, dear. No, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I wanted to learn Hindi. I watch Hindi movies. But uh, so far, I haven't learned any other language. That is a very, uh, what you can say, drawback. I wanted to, but I'm unable to do that. I tried three times, you know, to learn Hindi. I, I, we engaged a Hindi teacher, but somehow it so happened that I was not able to cope with it. So that is really, I feel very bad about myself. What is it? I'm unable to learn another language. Because I'm an ardent admirer of Bharati. My MPhil dissertation was English writings of Subramanya Bharati. I went to Bharati's house and I know how he has said, he knows nearly, he was a versatile one, polyglot. So knows so many languages. But I tried my level best. I was utter failure in that. But I wanted to. <laughs> yes, dear. Dear ma'am, if the Almighty or the universe gifted you a superpower and they gave you the choice to select the superpower which you want, what superpower would you select? Superpower to make everybody happy, contented with the stomach first. No one should go without a meal. Everyone should have a full meal. Yes, dear. Dear ma'am, we've seen that many of the students 
youngsters, middle-aged people, senior citizens, they are unaware that they are in toxic situations or in those places where they should not be. They are unable to identify their presence in the wrong place. And they begin to live there, continue that journey till the last breath. So is there any way that you would like to empower us and create awareness that this situation for you is not right? You have to back off and stay safe. Yes. I want to do something. I really, especially uh, uh, for uh, some festival, because now we don't uh, celebrate birthdays so grand, but we used to go to some old age home or orphanages. I do not use that word orphanage because all our children have got. And I used to go and meet with them, spend some time with them. But I feel very reluctant looking at them. I feel very sorry for them. Now and then I pray for them. And whenever, you know, I, I have my prayer from morning 6 to 6.30, again in the evening 6 to 6.30. And I have a list to be given to God. One, two, three. This family, they don't have child. They have to get it. God, grant them. There's a problem in this family. Eradicate that problem. This is how I pray to God. I yes. have a list of that. And once that uh, wish is granted, I say, okay, God, thank God. And I go for the next twist. Yes. Thank you, ma'am, for being so humble, so sweet and sharing all of that with us. Thank you so much. Dear ma'am, what do you think in the next 50 years could be the main changes that would occur in the world? Main changes, technology, improvement to the greatest heights. And there will not be any, the family bonding will be lost. Even now, we feel that uh, no connection between the family members. They inquire about somebody somewhere rather than taking care of the people inside the house. So I feel that uh, very bad about the technology improvement because we use it in the wrong way. We have to be the uh, boss and the technology has to be our servant. But now we are making the technology become our boss and we are obeying to. So after 50 years, I do not know how it will be, but I pray to God that something should be there. Some, what you can say, Mother Teresa, Abdul Kalam, somebody must come again to bring out a change in the world. Yes, dear ma'am. Thank you for sharing, ma. Thank you so much. Ma'am, imagine if you had a time machine in your hand, at the click of the button, you would be taken into the past and there you had to relive somebody's life. Whose life you would love to relive? My own life. Wow. <laughs> My own life. Yes, dear. I love the way you said. You didn't even give it a moment to think and, oh, whose life? You just said, my own life. Yes. Yeah, because I know all the minus weaknesses. So now that I'm going back, I'll try to make all the minus into pluses, all the weakness into strength. So I will be satisfied living a life. At that time, we do not know no, our weaknesses. So due to our, uh, what you can say, shortcomings, there may be some mistakes that we might have committed. So when you go back, and I'll have a chance to eradicate that or re redefine that, and uh, I'll be very happy. Okay, we have done it in the right way. Perfect. So, Perfect. Would you like to share something? No, nothing. Yes. And here, I one second. I take this opportunity to thank Amada Sadhguru Nathan for introducing me to you. Thank oh, you. Yes. I would also like to thank Amuta ma'am uh, for sharing uh, ma'am's contact with me because it's a lovely experience to get to know somebody from the teaching background. It means a lot. Yes, dear. And you're sharing it's so well. For the past 25 years. Yes. Both Great. a friend and a person. As a family, we are related. How nice. Yes, dear. Dear ma'am, would you like to share your thoughts on constructive criticism? Constructive, that's very important. Because uh, that is very important in life, especially family life. Because once the husband gives the constructive criticism about the cooking by the uh, wife, life will be good. Similarly, vice versa. So constructive criticism will put you in the right path. No ego clash, no problem. No quarrel, no misunderstanding. So whenever we give a constructive criticism, 
that makes both the communicator, the listener as well as speaker, in the right chain. So constructive criticism, everyone should learn to do that. Every one of us should learn to do that. We have to teach our children from the beginning. Don't yes. fight fault with anybody. Try to find the other side. Maybe you can put it in the right way. This would have been better if this has been added to it. For example, in cooking cancer. It's good, but it will be better if it had been uh, done like this. So that will not hurt anybody's feelings. So the other person will be ready to accept the criticism. If it is a destructive, there will be a downfall that the other person will not be ready to listen to the speak. So there only the problems arise. Once the listener is ready to listen and the speaker is ready to give space to the listener, then that can be done only by constraints. Yes, dear. Thank you, ma'am, for sharing all of that. One main question. Do you forgive others easily? No. 50%. <laughs> uh, 50%. I like the honesty. You, you didn't wait for a split second. You just said no. I used to say I am Shanti, not Gandhi. I am unable to forgive you. Very true. Very nice. Yes. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much would you rate yourself with regard to forgiving others? Five. Ma'am, I today I got the match. Many of them were eight and nine and seven and six. Nobody was on five till date, whoever I've interviewed. Even I could forgive somebody at the rate of five. I could rate myself five. And so I'm so proud of you today sharing number five with me. I feel good that somebody's there with me. Because we know ourselves, no? We have to be very honest to ourselves. Only then we can be honest to others. Yes. I'm so happy. At last, I found somebody who is five on the wavelength of forgiving each forgiveness. The right kind of people should be forgiven and those who don't deserve a forgiveness, we should just let them be where they are and set boundaries, right? Yes, dear. Happy to know all of this from you, dear. Dear ma'am, we've come to an end to the main round of the interview. We have a small segment for another five to ten minutes that is called as the rapid fire round. May I go ahead with it, dear? That's sure. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Dear friends, we are now on to this beautiful round called as the rapid fire round to get to know about the beautiful likes and dislikes of our special celebrity. And yes, who is she? I'm sure you already know that now. She is Mrs. Shanti. A person, simple, down to earth and very practical. A little angry bird, but she is not so. It only appears out, but within. She's a beautiful angel. Yes. Dear ma'am, the favorite day of your week. Uh, I'm sorry. The favorite day in the week. Friday. Your favorite number? Five. Tea or coffee? Coffee. And uh, the insect that you don't like. What is it? I couldn't get you. The insect. Ah, insect. Which Cockroach. insect? Cockroach. Okay. <laughs> yes, dear. Are you a tea? I said, did I ask you this? Tea or coffee? Coffee. Coffee. Yes, ma'am. You like to text or call? You think messaging is great or calling and calling? Is calling. calling. Yes, ma'am. Dear ma'am, when you help others, do you expect anything in return? No. Never. A perfect day in one word. Perfect day? In one word. Or nalla nal, or ever vartan. Party. Getting up, smiling. Whenever we get up, we have that habit of wishing everybody in our house. As soon as we get up, we say good day, manakam, nala nal. Even when I uh, speak through the phone, I say manakam, indriya nal, iniya nal yes. So every day has to be a good day for everybody. House. And of course, even if it is hard, we should be ready to face that. We'll make that difficult uh, day into a good day. A positive one. Yes, dear. Thank you, ma'am. Would you love to stay in a city, a village, or a town? As time permits. Because sometimes I would like to be in a town. Sometimes I would like to be in a village. So, it goes like that. According to my, uh, what you can say, the presence of mind at that time. Yes, dear. Is it ro roadways, railways, waterways, or airways? Which transport you love? Roadways. Yes. Your favorite season? Season spring. Yes. 
and your favorite sweet, like if I put some chocolates, cakes or ice creams on a table, which one would you pick up first? Kaju Kadali. Kaju Kadali. Oh, Kaju Katli. Kaju Barfi, you mean to say, right? Yeah, that's my favorite sweet. I'll take even one kilo. I will never stop. And even ice cream. Yes, dear. That's really nice. And even ice creams as well. Uh, that's why I, often I have a challenge with my friends in the college time. And I eat so many cups. They cannot afford to give that. They say, thank you, Shanti. We will not have the challenge once again. Oh, great. Which flavor is your favorite one, Ma? Butterscotch. Butterscotch. Great. Ma'am, or a life skill. Samuel Nalla Varuma. Samuel Nalla Panwe. Okay, great. Because usually those who are professionals, and like sometimes once when we are into the professional space, we don't have that much of time to concentrate on the authentic cooking or the traditional cooking style. So I love because I know that we can reach one's heart only through his stomach. So we used to have uh, gatherings often. So as I told you, I'm the eldest daughter-in-law. Um, when they come to my house, they I never allow them to cook. I will cook for nearly 30 to 40 people. But when uh, we go to others, other house, uh, we will share our work. But those uh, sisters-in-law and co-sisters, they never allow me because they say, okay, sister, you take this because you are regularly going for job. And when we come to your house, you never allow us to do that. So you take rest. So, but when they come to my house, I should be there to cook for them. Yes. And I very, I feel very happy, contented when they say that everything is okay. They are satisfied with the cooking and the taste. Yes, dear. Yes, ma'am. Dear ma'am, you being a teacher, you being a resource person, a faculty member, an academician, I would like to know who was your favorite teacher when you were in school? Uh, my sister, I told her, Hicham, sister Anandi, and in college, uh, Miss Gomez. Yes, dear. Even I have... now, I used to uh -huh. wear almost all matching things from clip, everything matching. Who, ma'am? Who is that? Miss Gomez. Okay. English, uh, Fatima College. Oh, great. I have a box full of clips. According to my salary, I have that. Even oh, spread yeah. everything I go match it. I love to do that. Very nice. Very nice. Dear, dear ma'am, are you an early riser? An early bird? As you said, angry bird. Now we change it to early bird. Are you an early bird or a night owl? Early bird. I get up by 5 o'clock because that's the training given by my father. Even during the times of examination, he will not allow us to work after 10 o'clock. It's a military discipline. So after 10, we have to go to bed and we have to get up early. But now I'm taking advantage because after retirement, this guy get up at 6. But in those days, even when I was working also, I had to get up early. Because I, had, I worked in three or four places. Sometimes I had to start by 6.45 in the morning. And I reached, uh, I had I traveled nearly 120 kilometers. Yes, I'm an early bird. I love to get a bird. Dear ma'am, salty, sweet, spicy or sour food? Spicy. Life is all about money, happiness what? or both? Life is all about money, happiness or both? Happiness. Are you an introvert? Give importance to money. Okay. I don't give importance to money. Yes, I understand. Because you've shared a lot with your friends. Many have cheated you, you said. <laughs> yeah. You hold the relationship more important than money. I get, I get that. Yes, dear. Are you an introvert, an extrovert, or an ambivert? Sometimes extrovert. Within my friend circle, introvert. When the it demands the circumstance demands. Yes, dear. When you are all alone, connected to your thoughts, nobody's with you, no gadgets as well. Where do your thoughts take you? Mm. Past, present, future. Future. You love socializing or me time? Socializing or? Me time, me time. Uh, socializing. Socializing. Do you believe in experiential learning or theoretical learning? Experiential learning. 
if at all there was samosa vade murku one vade. side on another side fruits and salads fresh vegetables and like you know salads and fruit and this side all the fried stuff which one would you take what would you prefer if it's hot i'll take vade oh sweet that's <laughs> really nice yes dear dear ma'am you love home cooked food or food ordered from out Uh, I couldn't get you clearly. Home cooked food or food ordered from outside. Home, home. home any time, any time. Uh, yes, always. Yes, dear. Do you love to spend time on a beach or in a forest? Forest. Walking, two wheeler or a four wheeler, where you feel comfortable and walking, walking. On a table, if there's a beautiful book and a music system. you have to pick up any one what would you take music do you love to give gifts or receive gifts ma i am very fond of giving gifts because i spend so much time in selection of gifts because i feel that the gift that i give to a particular person or anybody that i select that should be a memorable gift not the usual ordinary one they have to preserve it so i spend a lot of time in uh, selecting the gifts yes dear and you been receiving a lot of gifts too right yeah as you earlier mentioned 15 clocks or 13 yeah. clocks or 15 something you mentioned yes dear a big yes, steel dear. tray or something you yeah. mentioned that as well yes dear dear ma'am before we end the session we'd love you to give us three gifts today three magical words apart from please sorry and thank you which are called as the magical words as you all know my dear friends we get now from our celebrity would love to have a gift of the three magical words from her side dear ma'am from you we would love to have those three special words be happy make others happy pray to god be happy make others happy and pray to god that's so nice thank you very much ma'am dear ma'am is there anything that i didn't ask you that you wanted to share but i didn't ask you i, I mean i might have missed out on that you could share take a minute or two and almost share that. Yeah. Yeah, almost you asked many things so that i had shared my experience with you is there anything else you'd love to share today one message thank you to you or nalla message ma for all of us message um adore others adore the plus of others the strength of others don't try to highlight the weaknesses of course everyone has got our own weaknesses but we highlight them that will uh, put them in an embarrassing situation so to have a life very smooth and frictionless let us see only the brighter side of a person's personality so that we will be happy and we will make others also happy so no one can change other person unless they themselves change it. so there is uh, it is not our duty to change others let us be ourselves but try to be try to lead a frictionless life once there is a destructive criticism surely there will be push once there is ego there will be war so if at all we give up all those things and i and i heard uh, i think uh, there is one expansion i do not know uh, where i got it ego is edging god out so once you give up that ego you will realize the presence of god and you will be happy and you will make others also happy forever and we'll have a very peaceful life yes dear ma'am thank you so much ma'am for your time we really love you for who you are thank for thank you for spending so much of time with us God bless you. Stay connected, and we would love to have you on many more international fab talks. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Thank you. Here, I thank this. I take this opportunity to thank my son also, Arjun, who made preparation for all this. Yes, dear. We extend our thanks to your entire family for being with you and supporting you as you've supported them. They are also supporting you now. To all your students, to your relatives, and to everyone, a lot of love from the international fab talks. Thank you, and stay safe. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Yes, dear friends. With this, we come to an end to the international fab talks for today. We'll be connected with you very soon, and we promise you we'll bring back our special celebrity, that is Miss Shanti, again on this platform to share her knowledge, views, wisdom, and expertise. Stay safe and stay blessed.